Hi, everyone. I'm outside the Warner film lot where tensions are high today as we count down to this year's Edgar ceremony. Little is known about the nominations this time around, but one thing is for sure, we're in for a night of real showbiz pizzazz. Last year, Richie Rich Guy cleaned up with his smash hit, Huff Puff and Two Little Pigs, winning Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor, and Best Pig. This year, the box office has been rocked by the phenomenal success of the low-budget horror movie Slug, starring none other than Terry Hatchling. But are we in for any shocks? Will Gwyn's softy pale toes burst into tears again? Heck, all I care about is the free buffet. <laughs> this is Mary Heartless for Entertainment Tomorrow, signing off. It is perfectly simple. Either you give me a ten-picture contract with unlimited budgets, or I melt down your silly Edgars and you won't get to have your little party. I don't care what the mayor has to say, nor do I care what the public has to say. Yes, that is. It is blackmail. You don't. I'll call you whatever I like, cheese for brains. I have your Edgars. <laughs> Enough of this flim-flam, Thaddeus. I tire of it. You have eight hours to give in to my demands, or I make myself the world's most expensive set of golf clubs. <laughs> Goodbye, Thaddeus. Ah, Mixie, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> 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 Not that button, you clumsy old! I seem to have misplaced my siblings. Have you seen them? What do they look like? Well, Wacko is insane and doesn't wear pants. Nah, doesn't ring any bells. And Dot is cute. Oh, yeah, I think I saw her over by the Wild West soundstage. You probably heard about the Edgar ceremony tonight. That's why it's kind of quiet around here. Well, what you don't know is that all the Edgars got stolen. And if they don't find them soon, there won't be no ceremony. Now, of course, that's confidential, yet. So don't go blabbing to the press, okay? My lips are sealed. <laughs> Thank you. 
Just what the doctor ordered. I hope someone stopped my mini fridge. Well, hey there, newcomer. Welcome to Calamity Canyon. Sheriff Marion's the name, and it's my job to make sure there's always law and order around these parts. So, what do you got in this one-horse town? Besides one horse, I mean. Well, there's the saloon, of course, but you'll need proof of age for anything stronger than a sarsaparilla, sonny. Ooh, I should warn you about old Ike the Undertaker. Don't pay him no attention. He always chases new folks around, measuring them up. That's because new folks don't tend to last too long around here. <laughs> Before you go, Sonny, I should let you know there's a bounty out for the Moody Clan. The Moody Clan? Didn't they break up after their drummer died? They're a bunch of no-good, troublemaking varmints who should be locked up. That's who they are. Well, isn't locking up no-good, troublemaking varmints what a sheriff does best? I'm not getting any younger, Sonny. My legs ain't what they used to be, and my aim's been off ever since that bad batch of Kentucky red-eye old Ike sold me. Should've known better than to trust an undertaker. So I put up a reward for any man that can round up all the Moody's for me. When all five of them are behind bars, I'll pay up. Well, if you pay up, I'll round up. Look out, Moody's. Deputy Yakko's a-coming. Oh, 
holiday keeps the doctor away. Just what the doctor ordered. Gunslinger around. At best, I could only sling a non threatening blunt instrument, being a cartoon character and all. Looks like I'll have to look elsewhere for my new deputy then. Here's your reward. You earned it. If you carry on down this road, you'll get to the train station. The last train to Dry Gulch leaves shortly. Eh, come to think of it, I saw a little girl who looked just like you being tied to the tracks over there not long ago. Hm, thought nothing of it though. Plenty stranger things happen in this town, and every man to his own is what I say. Thanks. It's been real. Real creepy, that is. <laughs> We never break for lunch.
I'm like hey. Big Chief Sitting Bison. Yeah. You know, I've never seen a bison actually sitting. They must need one big chair. My name was like totally passed down from my ancestors, okay? Technically, I am Big Chief Sitting Bison the Sixth. Yeah. Well, I'm Yakko the First. Nice to meet you, Chief. Yeah. May I call you Chief? It sure would save time if I didn't have to say your entire name. Okay, you call me Chief, dude, and I'll call you He Who Looks Like Clown Face Dog. Hey. Well, it does have a certain <laughs> ring to it, but it would take me a lot longer to sign yeah. my checks. Like so much for small talk, broham. Like Big Chief Sitting Bison totally needs your help, dude. Yeah. Okay, but if it's about your clothes, yeah. I have no idea how to get those stains out. <laughs> no way, dude. Yeah. It's not about the threadage. We need help performing our rain dance, or yeah. we like face a totally yeah. gnarly drought. See, we're like one warrior down, yeah. okay? And we can't finish our dance until yeah. we fill the gap. <laughs> Totally yeah. If hey. you can find a grass yeah. skirt, your yeah. sister can totally <laughs> learn to limbo, hey. and she can help us finish our dance. <laughs> That'd be tubular. And where would I find that? Grass skirts are us. Ours is not to reason why. Ours is but to dance or die. Like a thirst, bro. You make absolutely no sense, Chief. But I'll see if I can help you out. <laughs> hey, if you can cross the Great Lake alive, you should, like, totally visit the Gold Prospector. He's rad. He'll help you. If I make it alive? Thanks for the pep talk, yeah. Chief. Yeah. I thought we'd never break for lunch. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. 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 Just what the doctor ordered.
we never break for lunch. like the kind of fella who knows how to handle a wild filly. You must know my sister. Now I'm offering a prize to any man who can tame this rowdy steed of mine. If you fancy your chances, then step right up. Whew. Uh, you're gonna need to dig your way in, champ. I lost my keys the last time the Bronco threw me. That's it, champ. Straight back into the saddle. break for lunch.